blessed are you, O Lord our God, who reigns over all the universe in love, who led Sarah and Abraham and their children in hope, who freed the enslaved children of Israel from Pharaoh's Egypt, who fed your people with manna in the wilderness and the words of the prophets, who went into exile with your beloved people and brought them home, who came among us in the human life of Jesus, who broke the power of sin and death by dying on the empire's cross, who has gathered us by your Spirit's pull from all nations and languages, who leads us onward and feeds us still, whose love brings resurrection and renews all creation. Blessed are you, O Lord our God. Blessed are you. Psalm 125 Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved but abides forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from this time on and forevermore. For the scepter of wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous, so that the righteous might not stretch out their hands to do wrong. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good and to those who are upright in their hearts. But those who turn aside to their own crooked ways, the Lord will lead away with evildoers. Peace be upon Israel. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. reading from Romans. Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand. And we boast in our hope of sharing the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character. And character produces hope, and hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. For while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. Indeed, rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person someone might actually dare to die. But God proves his love for us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. praise, our thanks, our deepest selves, and all the places your beloved world hurts. Heal the disease in our bodies and in our hearts as well. Where we are coldly indifferent, hold us in the fire of your love. Where hatred infects us, remove its poison. Where we are bent in on self, turn us outward to you and our neighbor. 
where we are dead inside, call us back to life, that we might be your wounded hands and feet, raised up for your work to make all things new. Amen. God whose love embraces all the world, who loved us when we were far off, estranged, and enemies of yours. Come and be our help. We struggle to love others. We have been hurt and wounded. We are upset at those who have harmed us or those we care about. We struggle with bitterness inside our hearts, and we wrestle with how your justice and mercy can meet in all this mess. Help us, help me, a child of yours, whom your love still seeks and claims when I am turned away from you, to seek good for all people, even those I most struggle with, those I have trouble accepting and those I fail to love. I pray not for their victory over me or mine over them, but for you to win over us all, for your will to be done in and through and among us leading us into that promised day when lambs and wolves lie down together, weapons are beaten into plowshares, and bitter enemies can be reconciled in your fierce, relentless love. the 